Hi. Good evening. Hello. Hello. I try to wave back. <clears throat> Hi, Bell. Michael. Hello. Hi, Lillian. Gong with the cat. Hi. Polly. Hello. Jean. <clears throat> Laura. Hey, hi, Laura. Hi, Jess. Hi, hi. Sally. Hello. Wang. Young. Hi. Maxi. Ming. Hi, Daggy. Sally, hello. Good. Give it one more minute, okay? So, um, just let people come in to join. Hi, Arunji. Hey. Good, I try to press the wave back, okay? Hi, Ping. Arunji Vachasana. <laughs> Hi, Alice. Hi, Han. Chin Yi. Elsa. If you are coming from other country, you can actually let me know or let us know, okay? Just type in the country that you are from, okay? So we know that uh, not only from Singapore, everyone uh, from different parts of the world is also joining the class. And um, today is immunity booster class. Again, like I say, this class is suitable for all levels. Okay? Of course, you take variation that you need to take. Okay? Certain movement that is too vigorous for you, too much for you. And you can actually adjust accordingly or take smaller movement. Okay? From Singapore. Oh, hi! <laughs> Good. Um, and uh, also you adjust accordingly. Today, um, the practice, same, we're going to practice um, a little bit more rhythmic movement from the start then after that. Um, today we're going to, oh, from Marine Parade, oh, Marine Parade is not Singapore, is it? Good. And uh, then we're going to practice some yin posture today, okay? So we hold the posture for longer duration. Like I said uh, before, to improve your immune system, okay, it's good to have a strong digestive system, okay, and also a strong spine, spine, okay, a spinal cord, okay, and also nervous system, okay. So by practicing some uh, yin posture, it helps to also calm your nervous system as well, okay. So because daily um, routine, we charge up our nervous system, okay. It's time, especially in the evening, it's time for you to. Uh, new hair, yes, I went for a haircut uh, just now. Um, it's time for you to um, calm down a little in the evening. Okay? If you're practicing in the, in the morning, of course, uh, you can actually um, do a little bit more. Okay? So at the end, we're going to uh, practice instead of uh, Surya Vedan um, breathing technique, we're going to practice Chandra Vedan okay? to uh, help to calm your nervous system rather than to heat up your body. Okay, good. So um, let's start the class. Good, so we're going to do the breathing later. Okay, just sit for a while. Okay, just to observe your breath to calm you down. Okay, sitting tall. Good, then close your eyes. Connect yourself with the breath. Elongating your spine to the top of your crown. Inhale, exhale through both your nostrils. Just simply observing your breath through both the nostrils as you inhale. Exhale through both your nostrils.
Good. Awareness of your breath at all times throughout the whole practice. Very gently, very gently open your eyes. Straighten both the legs to the front. Point your toe to the front and flex the feet. Point and flex. Roll up, roll to the center, roll up, roll to the center. Good, so if you're just joining us, okay, we're practicing immunity booster cough, okay? So let's come into standing position. So keep your feet mat width apart, okay? Mat width apart. Get hands on your hip and start to do your hip rotation, okay? This is good for your hip joint, okay? So that you have a healthy hip joint, okay? Especially you sit the whole day at home, okay, watching TV, slouching, okay, so this will be a good movement for you to practice, okay, good, bigger movement, or rather bigger circle, if you have some hip issue, maybe smaller circle, okay, so you adjust according to your body need, good, reverse the circle now, so some of you can do bigger circle. Go ahead, bigger circle. Make sure you just move the hip region. The can not your body to the front and back. The can hip region. One more. Very nice. Back to center. Get. Reach your arm up to the sky. Exhale, bow forward to forward fold. Just a gentle one. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Easy. Inhale, tight hamstring, keep your knees bent. Like this, bend the knee, touch your fingertip down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Stay here. Hands on your hip. Slowly move your hip toward the left side. And move toward the left, the extreme left. And slowly come up from the left. Just a gentle back bend. And down to the right. And back to center. So you move in circle at your own level. Okay, maybe a deeper back bend, maybe not. If you have back issue, please take care. Do not go too much. Okay. Third circle. Just breathe normal. Or maybe inhale up. Exhale down. Slowly. You do not want to get giddy. Right? Good. Five. Stay here. Change the direction to the right. And up. Slightly back bend and down. Left. To the right. And up. Slightly back bend and down. Three. Four. Good. And five. Now stay here just to regulate your blood flow. Release your hands down. Nice. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, release, pop your hands down. Widen your stand a little bit more. Inhale, raise your arm to the side, shoulder level. Get left hand, right ankle down. Reach your right arm up. Inhale back up. Exhale out of sight. Inhale back up. Exhale out of sight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more set. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Pop your hand down. Good. Now bring your feet back together. Let me. Good. Continue to breathe. Nice. So keep your feet. Keep width apart with all your toes pointing forward. Okay. Good. Inhale. Reach your arm. Exhale, bend both the knee. Palm facing down. Inhale up. Exhale, bend both the knee. Palm facing down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Stay here. Lift the heels off the floor. So a little bit more challenging. Three. Down all the way, do full squat, breathe. Back to half squat, breathe. Nice, reach your arms up, anchor your heel down. Half squat, heels off the floor, breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, full squat, five, four, three, two, one, half squat, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, reach up, and again, three more sets, half squat, heels off the floor, stay there for five, four, three, Two, one, full squat. Five, four, three, two, one, half squat. Five, four, three, two, one, all the way back up. Two more set and down, half squat. Heels off the floor. Then okay, hugging to the midline. Stay there. Five, four. Three, two, I'm just checking, make sure that all of you are practicing, not chatting. Good, down to full squat. Five, four, three, two, one, half squat. Five, four, three, two, one, back up all the way. One more set, bend the knee, heels off the floor. Five, four, Three, two, one, all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one, half squat. Five, four, three, two, one, all the way up. Exhale, release both your hands down. So we just strengthen this. The Squatting position, okay, it helps to strengthen your quad, your knee joint, your ankle joint with the heels off the floor. Okay, good. Now, tapping. Oh no, before tapping, we do this. Okay, so squatting, okay, without lifting the heels off the floor, you just need to exhale and swing your arm, okay, like this. Exhale, inhale up, exhale, inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale for one minute. Keep going. Keep going. Exhale. 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 Keep going, exhale, 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 exhale. Keep going, exhale. 30 seconds left, keep going. Exhale, exhale, keep going. 20 seconds, keep going. Exhale, 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 exhale. 10 seconds. Keep going. 
Two more. One, two. Good. Back up. So I can notice that again. Strengthen your knee joint, hip joint, shoulder. Good. Okay. Good. Now, form. Uh, press all your fingertips together. Okay. Inhale. Reach your arms up. All the way to the back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and bring your arm to the back and down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Open up more. Four. Open, open, open. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Down. Five. Squeeze. Six. Squeeze. Seven. Eight. Someone is chatting. Make sure you practice. Nine. Keep going. And ten. Good. Reverse the direction to the back and up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Ten. Very good. And continue to work on your shoulder joint. Okay? Just swing your hip and let your arm swing naturally. Okay? Keep going. Maybe tapping on your shoulder. Downside muscle. Swing. Too much for you, maybe a smaller swing. Okay, smaller swing. Okay for you, keep going. Okay, maybe kidney region. Hit your kidney region. So lower. Like this. Okay, keep going. One minute. Again, good for your shoulders joint, your hip joint. Simple movement that you can do every day. Okay, like I said, you sit at home, working from home. Okay, sitting, watching TV. Okay, this will be good to relieve all the tension in your shoulders. Okay, you release your shoulder, it helps to release your neck. Okay, keep going. Maybe 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Back to center. Tapping, okay? So use your right hand, tap on your right arm. All the way up towards the chest. Again, tap. Forearm, bicep, okay? Underarm, arm bridge. Good, other side, tap. So this will wake your body up, wake every single cell in your body, okay? Keep going, tap. Arm bit. The limb move. Good. Lastly. Cut. Maybe smaller or rather lighter. Okay. If you feel too painful or out a little harder. Okay. Right leg. Cut. Hand swing. Foot. Butter. And again. Right leg. Keep tapping your butt. Maybe use your fist. Okay, butt. Lower back. Up higher. Shoulder. Between the shoulder, shoulders and neck. Yeah. Tapping. Okay, have to release tension. And again, shoulder. Neck, the back of your neck. Back of the hip. Very nice, and release. Good. So we finish our warm-up. Okay, so come on to 
to sitting. Straighten both the legs to the front. So again, this is a very traditional way of um, a Hatha rhythmic movement that work on your core strength as well as your spine. So it helps to improve your core as well as improve flexibility of your spine. So okay, first movement is this. Inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, forward fold. Just a very uh, relaxed one. No need to pull yourself and push. So okay, just relax. Inhale, reach your arms up. To the left and back. So you turn toward the back of your mat. Place your hand down. Reach your forehead up. Stay here and breathe. Keep all your toes pointing up. Keep width apart. And breathe. Try to touch your forehead to the back of your mat. Nice. Inhale, reach your arms up. Forward bend. Exhale. Inhale, reach your arms. To the right and back. Exhale. Good for your spine. A gentle twisting. Good. Inhale back up. Exhale to the front. Rhythmic movement. With, move with the breath. Inhale. To the left. Exhale. Inhale. To the front. Exhale. Inhale. To the right. Exhale. Inhale. To the front. Exhale. Inhale. Left. Inhale. Front. Inhale. Right. Maybe this is your maximum. You stay here and fine. Okay? No need to reach your forehead down. Inhale. Exhale. Two more set. Inhale. To the left. Like I said, too much for you to stay here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. To the right. Exhale. Inhale. One more set. Exhale to the front. Inhale. To the left. Exhale. Inhale. To the front. Exhale. Inhale. To the right. Exhale. Inhale. To the front. Exhale. Stay here and breathe for a while. In your forward fold. Pashimottanasana. Continue to breathe. Focus on your breathing. A few more deep breaths here. Nice. Stay here on your forward fold. Okay. Interlace your finger above your toe or even over your feet okay now first one you can do slowly start to lean back as you round the back lean back round the back focus on your core right exhale lean forward inhale lean back round the back exhale lean forward two inhale to the back Exhale, three. Keep going. Inhale to the back. Exhale, forward. Focus on your core, everyone. Inhale, lean forward. Round the back. Exhale, lean back. Round the back. Focus on your core. And again. Exhale, five. Lean forward. Good. Inhale, round the back. Even more. Focus. Maybe lean back more. Exhale, forward. Six. Inhale, lean back, round the back. Exhale, forward, seven. Inhale, round the back. Exhale, eight. Inhale. Exhale, nine. Inhale. Exhale, ten. Stay here. Okay, notice that your arm is over your feet, most of you. Maybe 
Some of you type hand trim, maybe here they find the cat. Stay here, we. So you're gonna start to move in circle. The cat just stay here. Watch me. The cat just stay here and look to the front. Watch me. The cat you're gonna move your arm to the left. Don't do it yet. The cat keep your arm to the left. Start to move and round the back to the back. Arm to the front, to the right. Then exhale forward and back to center. So this is one circle. Okay, focusing on your core, your spine. Okay, get ready. To the left and lean back, round the back. To the center, to the right. Exhale. Two. Think of grinding. Exhale. Three. Sorry, two. Exhale. Three. Keep going. Lean back, round the back. Exhale forward. Good. And again, lean back, round the back. To the right. Exhale. Again, lean back, round the back. Exhale five. To the back. Ten. Uh, five more. Exhale six. To the back. Continue. Exhale seven. Inhale. Exhale, eight, inhale, exhale, nine, inhale, exhale, ten, stay here, breathe, you can rest your arm, on your feet is fine, breathe, so we got one more direction to go, ten times, okay, get ready, to the right, your arm, lean back, round the back, keep the core engaged, to the left, Exhale to the front. Two. Exhale. You can lean back more. Go ahead. Three. Exhale. Four. Exhale. Five. Keep going. Exhale. Six. Lean back. Round the back. Seven. Keep going. Round, round, round. Eight. Keep going. Round even more. Nine. Only one more. Good. And ten. Stay here. Relax the arm. And breathe. So actually at the same time it's working on your hamstring as well. Okay. Continue the breathing and bring your feet together. Focus on your breathing. Two more breaths. Nice, reach your arms up in here. Exhale, release. Walk your hands down. Very nice. Good. So we're going to take the next pose. Deer pose. Okay. So. Let's say this is the front of your mat. Okay? Left shin bone horizontally in line with the front of your mat. In front of your pelvic. We did it last week, I think. Okay? Right shin bone alongside your mat. So you check your left knee bend 90 degree, left ankle 90 degree, right knee 90 degree, right ankle 90 degree. Right? Good, then you slowly turn toward the left thigh bone, the kick on your fingertip. Stay here, breathe. We hold the pose for three minutes, the kick. So, first position, and breathe. So make sure you're not doing this. Turn your navel, slowly open up, push your fingertip down, lift the heart, flexing both the feet, keep the 90-90, breathe. Good. You can ground your palm. Stay here and breathe. Take your time. Slowly get deeper. No need to rush. Make sure you flex both the feet. Breathe. And come on to your forearm, elbow. So you will feel a gentle twist. Here, okay? here. and breathe. 
Two more minutes to go. Just relax the facial muscle. Some of you, you might need the block, then you place your forearm on the block, or some of you like to rest your forehead on the block, you can do this. Focus on your breathing. Or you would like to rest your forehead on your forearm or your palm, it's fine. Make sure you keep your leg active by flexing both the feet. Turn your navel to revolve your chest towards the floor. Continue the breathe. Halfway point here. Simply observing your breath. And notice the twisting. You feel your stomach region as you inhale and exhale. A gentle pressure at your stomach region. It helps to massage your internal organ, massage your intestine, improving your digestive system. Continue to breathe. You can close your eyes. Just focus on your breathing. One more minute. Focus on your breathing. Facial muscle, neck, relax. If you do not have the block, you can stack your fist on top of each other and rest your, rest your forehead on top of your feet. Whichever make you more comfortable. 20 seconds left. Again, a gentle reminder, keep your legs active. Make sure your shin bone on top of each other like this, not simple cross-legged. Flexing both the feet, continue to flex the feet, okay? So keep your thumbs here, okay? Pull down, roll out, okay? Roll it up as you lean your chest forward. Place your forearm, elbow down, too much for you here. So you notice a stretch on the right side of your hip. Keep your right foot on top, right side of your hip, but keep your left foot flexing as well. Stay and breathe. Just for a minute, continue to breathe. Start from now. Continue to flex your feet, connect to the right hip region. For those that would like to walk forward and rest your forehead down, go ahead. Okay? Focus on your breathing. Close your eyes. Deeper inhalation, deeper exhalation. So some of you, this is not gonna happen. Maybe your knee is here. You place your right palm on top of your right knee, left hand to the back. Just actively press your right knee down, flexing your left foot, totally fine. So this will be your option, especially at tight hip region or uh, your knee, okay? So, or ankle, you just stay here. Okay, it's fine. So work at your own level. Nice, one minute, that's over. Slowly come back up. Good, so this time, right shin bone in front, left shin bone alongside your mat. Okay, flexing both the feet. Check your 1990, okay? Make sure that your left knee is not too close to the right foot, then it's not 90, right? Right knee back, okay? 90, 90, 90, 90, okay? Slowly turn your body. So take your time to get into the pose, no need to rush, okay? Even if you're super flexible, okay? We want to move in and out with control, slow and control movement. Twist, stay here, three minutes, start from now. Just simply observing your breath here. 
flexing both the feet. Continue to breathe. You can close your eyes at all times. Just listen to my voice cue. Come on to your palm, maybe. So if this is your maximum, stay here. Work on your twisting. Revolve your chest from your right shin bone. Breathe. Maybe come on to your forearm elbows for some of you. Maybe use a block. Maybe form a fist, press your forehead. Whichever work for you. Continue to breathe here. A gentle reminder, make sure you flat both the feet. Turning your navel towards the floor. Feel the twisting, a gentle twisting. So this pulling or rather stretching your kidney region as well. Improving the blood circulation, the function of your kidney. And notice your breathing as you inhale your stomach pressing against your thigh. Exhale, stomach relax. A gentle pressure that. For those that can, rest the chest, forehead down, go ahead. Halfway point. Continue to breathe. Focus on your breathing. Calm your breath in the pose. Facial muscle relax. One more minute to go. Continue the breathing. Continue to breathe and can prepare yourself to slowly come out the pose. Slowly come on to your palm. Don't rush. Okay, can come on to your palm. Good. Slowly turn towards the front. Good. And this time, left shin bone on top of your right thigh bone. Flexing both the feet. Again, shin on top of each other not cross-legged like this, okay, on top of each other, flexing both the feet, okay, ankle on top of your knee, not here, okay, on top, on top, right, roll the thigh bone up, lean forward, place your hand down, maybe stay here, so we stay for a minute, okay, flexing both the feet, Maybe on your forearm, elbows. Maybe walk forward, chest over your shin and walk forward. So, okay, whichever work for you. Again, flexing both the feet. Some of you, you'll be here. It's fine. Press your knee and gently down. Lift the heart, not this way. So, okay, just extend your left arm and breathe. So, okay, over time, you might be touching. Okay, no need to force. Take your time. Okay, everyone work at your own level. Three. Fifteen seconds left. Take your time slowly. Come out the pose, good, and straighten both the leg to the front, point your toes, stretch your ankle, flex your feet, point, and flex, roll out, roll to the center, roll out, roll to the center, good, next posture again, we work on your spine, your 
hip, there, okay, and um, your shoulders, yeah, there, okay. You need a block. If you do not have a block, take a cushion or your uh, your pillow. That's fine, there, okay. So play the block in front of your mat. I need to show you from the side, right? Okay. So you're gonna come into downward facing dog. Watch me. Do not do it yet. Okay. Now you're gonna rest your left knee behind the block. Okay. okay? Your heel close to your groin region. Do not sit under. Um, put under. Okay. okay. Close to the groin region. Right thigh bone rolling in. Okay. To square your hip to the front. Right. Good. Then move the block slightly away. Right shoulder in line with your knee. So you're gonna track your right shoulder. Or rather track your right arm under and in line with the knee like this. Yeah. There you can. Take your cushion or block red your the side of the hip down. Right? Good. Left arm round the hip. Some of you can grab hold of your ankle. Go ahead. If not, just stay there. Right? Maybe. Slowly turn and look up to the sky and breathe energetically and go your left butt back down towards the floor your butt will be lifted off the floor but energetically and go down okay we stay here for three minutes okay so try the right arm over to the left rest the head down left arm round the hip grab of your ankle roll open more Anchoring the left butt down toward the foot. Stay there for three minutes. A very good pose that helps again to work on your stomach region, your spine, your hip, your shoulder. There, okay? Three minutes here. Continue the breathe. Facial muscle relax. Some of you might be turning toward the back of your head and look up to the sky if you could. All else just stay where you are. A pretty deep stretch on the left outer hip. There, okay. So work at your own level. Focus on your breathing. Doesn't mean that you are totally collapsing into the pose. Lengthening your right leg all the way to the tip of your toe. So keep your legs active. There, okay. Stretching your arms over. Try to rest your shoulder onto the midline of your mat behind the block. Stay there and breathe. We have two more minutes to go. Okay? So I'm going to get into the pose with you as well. And rest that. Focus on your breathing. So the more you roll the left shoulder blade back, the easier it is for you to reach for your ankle. Breathe. Again, notice your stomach pressing against your thigh as you inhale. Stomach relax as you exhale. Check that you're relaxing your shoulders, your neck, your face. Do not tense up. Maybe roll to the back of your head. Neck issue, just look to the side will do. Continue to breathe for another minute, okay? Take your time to slowly come out the pose. So lift the right shoulders up, ground your palms, everyone slowly step back to downward facing dog. 
Good. Stay in down dog. Lift up your heels and turn both the heels down to the right. To ease the tension on your left hip region. Yes, still in your downward facing dog. Push the floor away. Nice. Back to center. Rest your right knee behind the block. Shin bone down. Okay, so I'm going to show you from the front. Shin bone. Heels close to the groin region, squaring your hip. Okay, good. So this time, you're going to track your left arm over to the right. Rest your shoulders down onto the midline. Rest your hip down. Take your time. Right hand. So shoulder blade, roll back, head over shoulders back, round the hip, reach for your big toe, ankle, whichever, roll to the back of your hip, maybe. Look up, energetically angle your right buttock down towards the floor. So you're not rolling all the way and drop out of the pose. Okay, stay there. Three minutes, continue to breathe. Focus on your breathing. Relax your facial muscle. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Relax your arms. Breathe into the right, out the hip. If you feel the tension a lot, use your breath to release it. Inhale into the right hip region. Exhale, release the tension there. Keep your left leg extending and lengthening. Okay? So do not just flop your leg or flop your body down. There's a certain degree of engagement, but not tensing up. Okay? Make sure you're not tensing up. In the pose. And breathe. So like I say, anchoring. Yeah, from right by the down, energetically. So not rolling open and totally collapse over, right? Stay there and breathe. Almost halfway point. You can just close your eyes and breathe. Breathe into the region that you feel tension. With your exhalation, release the tension there. One more minute to go. Continue to be with your breath. Again, check your shoulder is not panting up. Roll the shoulder blade back and down. Keep your neck long in the pose. Simply be with the breath. 30 seconds left. Side, shoulder, neck, relax. 
facial muscle relax. Connect with the breath. Balasana, child pose. A posture that has so much benefit. Again, notice the gentle pressure as you inhale and exhale. Your stomach pressing against your thigh. Shoulder, neck, relax. And this also a good posture to help to strengthen your heart. Okay? The reason why it's called child pose is similar to the fetus in the mother's womb, curling up. Okay? The position helps to strengthen the heart. Pump more blood back to the heart. Continue to breathe and also help to ease the tension in the low back region. Also ease the, it helps to relax your kidney region as well. Continue to take deep breathing there. A few more deep breaths in the child pose. You then slowly roll your spine up, vertebrae by vertebrae, come back up to sitting. Nice. Take in, sit in Vajrasana. If this is too much for your knee, ankle, sit up in simple cross legged. So we're going to practice the breathing techniques. Chandra Vedan. Okay, instead of Surya Vedan. So in the evening, at night, we practice Chandra Vedan. Okay, so we're going to raise your right hand up. Okay, Pranava Mudra, fold your index finger and middle finger in. Okay, good, now stay here. So you're going to cover your right nostril with your tongue. Inhale, now don't do it yet. Inhale through your left nostril, right? Close your left with your ring finger, so close both the nostril. Hold the breath and apply chin lock, Jandala Bandha. Stay here, hold the breath with chin lock. After that, you're going to release the chin lock. Exhale to the right nostril. This is one round. Then after that, again, cover your right. Inhale to the left, chin lock. Hold the breath, release chin lock. Exhale to the right. Okay, we're just going to do a few rounds of this. Get ready. Release. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. Cover your right nostril with your tongue. Inhale to your left nostril. Close your left with your ring fingers. Hold the breath. Apply Jalandala Bandha, chin lock. If you do not know what is that, just stay holding the breath will do. Release chin lock, exhale to your right nostril, all the way out, as much as possible, empty out your lung. Close your right nostril again, inhale to your lung, as much as possible, fill up your lung. Hold the breath, apply chin lock or not. Hold for a while more, a little longer than the first one. Nice. Release chin lock. Exhale to your right nostril. Empty out your lung. All the way. One more round. Inhale to the left. Hold the breath with chin lock. Hold for a longer duration.
We reach in lock. Exhale to the right nostril all the way. Empty out your lung. Relax your right hand down. Place your palms on your thigh. Keep your eyes closed. Observe deep breathing. Inhale through both the nostrils. Exhale to both your nostrils. Equalize the duration, the quality, and the depth of your breath. Check your neck, facial muscle, shoulder. gently open your eyes. Bring your thumbs to the heart, prayer position. Close your eyes. Now we end the class with three ohms and three shanti. Take a deep breath in. Continue to practice now. You can actually practice with our IGTV now. Okay, they have um, they change the format a little bit. Okay, you can find all the classes on our IGTV. Okay, and also you of course you can still practice with um, our YouTube channel, Pale Yoga Official. Okay, so um, if you want to rest, you can just lie down for a while to rest. Okay. Thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow morning 11 a.m. for Hatha 2 if you're joining me. Okay? Thank you very much everyone. Have a good evening. Good way to end a long long week. Yes, definitely for me as well. <laughs> but I'm working for tomorrow. Thank you Jean. Good. So have a good night. Thank Lillian. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Laura, thank you. Glad to see you online. Bye-bye.